Good morning, guys. Before I get into this video, there's something I want to say, and that is happy birthday, Simone. Oh, my God. <laughs> Simone is one of my good friends. Her and Leonard, they live in the Netherlands. We send little gift boxes back and forth to each other. That's like where I got the knitted hats and things like that. You know, they recently sent me the big fan mail package with tons of stuff spilling out all over. Like the Freddy vs. Jason picture back there. Uh, you, I guess you can't see it right now, but they sent me that. Um, Leonard drew that, and they sent me these, this awesome coffee. But, uh, but anyways, happy birthday, Simone. She has a YouTube channel as well. It's called Made by Seam, and she does a lot of, uh, I always get this wrong. It's like crocheting. I, I think it's not knitting. It's crocheting. Apparently, there's a difference. I don't know, because I'm a dude. <laughs> anyways, let's get into this video here. I thought what I would do today, just simply because I can't get this stuff out of my head, is tell you some things that I have been obsessed with recently. Mainly, this is just music, different songs that have been stuck in my head and I cannot get enough of them. I like to listen to music when I'm working around the house or when I'm, you know, cooking or something like that. I can't do a whole lot of video watching and, and listen to music when I'm editing because I have to be able to hear and see what I'm doing. But there's a couple of songs that I, uh, that I have just had stuck in my head recently that, uh, that I want to tell you about that you may have heard, maybe you haven't heard them. I have, like, such a wide variety of taste when it comes to music. Like, I love so many different types of music, but th there's a couple of songs that have just been stuck in my head recently that I cannot get out. I've been listening to these things over and over and over. And the first one here is by Megan Trainer and John Legend. I can't believe I never heard this song before. I just heard it for the first time, like, I don't know, three, four days ago, and I can't stop listening to it. It's called Like I'm Gonna Lose You, and... On her uh, YouTube channel, it was published July of 2015. I am blown away that I never heard this song because I've listened to Megan Trainor songs a million times, but I've never heard this one. So I'm just going to play a second of it here for you. So I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna lose you. I'm gonna hold you. So there's that one. I mean, I just I listened to it over and over and over. And then there's this other one here, um, James Arthur. The song is called Say You Won't Let Go. And I have listened to this thing <laughs> at least a hundred times just over the past couple of days. I mean, I'm constantly listening to this thing. And it also was published in 2016. Um, I have seen it pop up on my feed when I was listening to other things. And I think I clicked on it one time. But then it went back to what I was listening to because I was obsessed with that at the moment. So I, I finally listened to this song one day and I'm just, it's in my head and I cannot get it out. I love it. I'm going to play a second of that for you. You look as beautiful as ever And I swear that every day you'll get better You make me feel this way somehow this guy was actually on, like, the X Factor or something, you know, in the UK, I, I guess it was. Um, but I, I just, I love this song. Can't get it out of my head. I love the guy's voice. I love how his voice is unique. You know, the way he says some words is very unique. And, and I love that kind of thing. You know, it sets him apart from other people. Okay, and the next one, um, I don't you guys may have heard of this guy. He calls himself The Weeknd. He has a song called I Feel It Coming," and I love that song. Um, I've listened to that a billion times over. But the one that I have been stuck on recently is called Call Out My Name. And I love the song. The video has, like, a lot of, like, satanic imagery in it. You know, I don't know if you guys ever have looked up or got into that stuff where... Basically, the story is once you get to Hollywood, if you really want to make it big, you got to take the next step, and you have to, uh, you know, basically join the Illuminati. And uh, so there's a lot of imagery um, in a lot of videos if you watch that kind of stuff. But I absolutely love the song. I don't listen to it to watch the video, but it's a great song. And one of the things that captures my attention with this is that he was seeing Selena Gomez for a little while, and she needed, like, a kidney or something, and he was going to give her one of his kidneys. And this song, after she dumped him and went back to Bieber, um, he wrote this song. 
And so it's basically about her. But, you know, the lyrics are never like, oh, Selena, I miss you, you know? <laughs> so the part I'm going to show you here, um, the lyrics are something like, I almost cut a piece of myself for your life. And uh, and that, I don't know, for some reason, that just that just makes me think a lot. Because he almost gave her a kidney. And, you know, what if you did that? What if you donated a part of your body to somebody so they could live and then afterwards they dumped you for somebody else that would be horrible that's not what happened but anyways listen to this little part of this song and then you can go listen to the whole thing if you want to watch the video or whatever And then the last song um, I just actually started listening to today. I had never heard it before. It sounded familiar when I did hear it, but uh, but I know that I've never heard it before. But I can't get enough of it. I listen to a lot of Christian music, and um, I, I'm surprised I'd never heard this one before. It's by a guy uh, named Torin Wells, and the song is called Known. It's such a good song. Um, I just I, I don't even really have anything else more to say about it. It's just such a good song. I'm gonna let you listen to a little clip here, and and I'll put a link below to all these songs so you guys can go check them out if you haven't heard them. But I just these are just what's stuck in my head right now. Okay, and then there's a movie that I watched last night. I had seen the trailer a while back, and it looked so incredibly awesome. Then my friend Leonard reminded me of it yesterday because he was going to watch it. And I was like, oh, yes, I've got to see that. So my son started texting me last night, and I started telling him about this movie. And then I started playing it just to see, like, the beginning of it, and I was hooked. I, I couldn't stop. I had to watch the whole thing. Absolutely awesome. Here's a little clip of what you have to look forward to if you watch this movie. It's called Upgrade. What if I told you I could offer you something that would enable you to walk again? Didn't know that I'm a ninja. <laughs> While I am state of the art, I am not a ninja. And the very last thing I don't want to tell you about, because I've been watching a lot of these recently, is the Ben Stiller Show. You probably all know who Ben Stiller is from Hollywood movies. Meet the Parents, and uh, along came Zoolander. You know, he's in a billion different movies now. Um, but before he was in these movies, he had a show called the Ben Stiller Show. It was just a skit show, kind of like Saturday Night Live, but it was absolutely hilarious. Uh, my sister and her boyfriend and I used to sit around and watch this thing and just die laughing for hours on end. And one of the funniest ones to me that I have watched over and over recently. <laughs> if you guys remember, back in the 90s, there were a couple of shows. One of them was called Beverly Hills 90210. Then there was Melrose Place and something Heights. I can't remember what, it, what that one was called. But, um, you know, it was all like this this teenage drama, rich kids in Beverly Hills, you know. And, and so they made fun of it on the Ben Stiller show. They called it Melrose Heights 902102402. These are the kids of Melrose Heights 902102402. And in the first episode, this guy, I think his name is Devin, he has a headache. And that's like, that's what the drama is. Everybody's afraid of him because he has a headache. I've got a headache. I'm scared. You gotta listen to me. It's gonna be okay. And then it finally goes away. And uh, then in the second episode, uh, they have a friend named Vaughn. Who they, so one of them starts a rumor that Vaughn is a robot because he was in the background doing the robot dance. Hey, Britton, did you hear? Vaughn's a robot. <laughs> Devin, who told you that? I can't remember. Batteries? I am not a robot! And it's just, it's absolutely hilarious. I'm gonna put a link to that down below too. Um, I don't know if you guys will think it's funny. Sometimes those things from like the 80s and 90s, if you didn't watch them at that time and you see it 
for the first time now, it's not funny. Anyways, guys, so those are some awesome things that have been stuck in my head recently, and uh, I wanted to share those with you because that is what's on my mind today. <laughs> so make sure you check out those links below, and um, let me know what you guys think about them. Let me know if you've ever seen the Ben Stiller show before, if you've seen that movie Upgrade, if you've heard any of these songs and if you like them, or just tell me what you have had stuck in your head recently. I think it's funny how you get something stuck in there and it just loops over and over and over. I'll wake up in the morning and I'll notice that I'm like singing this song in my head, you know, and it's like I was asleep. How do I even still have this song in my head? Anyways, guys, wherever you're waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward. Let's make this world a better place and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Peace.